At this time, we're going to go to the main part of my presentation, which is velocity and acceleration. Now, the main concept of velocity is very easy. When you have more gravity streams pulling, the object will pull faster. The same as adding more teams of horses, or more dogs, or more strongmen to locomotive. More strings, more energy units, pulling together will pull it faster. Now what about acceleration? Acceleration is simply when you go from one speed to another. That's accelerating. So whenever you have more strings involved in a particular pull, then you'll get a higher speed. Like one team of horses, two teams of horses, three teams of horses, and so forth. But here's an interesting concept. Gravity strings are not added to the particle. They are never added into the particle, they're always there. So you have this particle with its gravity strings. These gravity strings are not going to be removed, and they're not going to be added. What you see is what you get. That's just the way it is. If that's the case, how then can we add more gravity strings to a mutual hole? And the answer is, it's in the lengths of the gravity strings. Gravity strings come in various lengths. And here's a sample. I just have a very short string, a medium string, and a long string. In reality, for any particle, whether it's a proton or the Earth, there's going to be thousands of different lengths all the way across. Right? Just for simplicity, though, we're just going to go with small, medium, and large. Make it easy to see. And here's what's going to happen. When an object comes floating by, it's going to encounter this gravity string first. That's the first one it's going to be intertwined with. Mutual pull number one. The particle's going to keep going closer and closer and closer. And then what? It encounters gravity string number two. Now there are two gravity strings involved. Two gravity string pairs intertwined goes further and further and further in as it's being pulled. A third one is encountered. Now there's three intertwined, three gravity strings involved in the pull, and it goes on and continues. That is how we increase the velocity, which means an increase in acceleration. Speed one, comes here speed two, comes here speed three. Let me show you this with another particle. Now, of course, every particle, like I said, protons to Earth, moon, sun, whatever, has multiple lengths. So again, we have another particle here, small, medium, and large. So here's what's going to happen. Floating by at first, it's not seeing anything. Now what's going to happen is it's going to touch. It binds these long, the longer strings bind each other first. They touch. They start intertwining. This guy pulls forward. This guy pulls forward. They start coming together. Then we have the second gravity string. Now these two touch. Okay? So what we've got now is we've got long string and the medium string. We've got two teams of horses, if you will, pulling now instead of just one. That's going to make it go together much faster. And then finally, they're going to encounter the smallest string. We have one, two, three gravity strings, or three teams of horses pulling together, and it'll come together very fast. Okay? Make sense? That is how it works. It's actually very simple. Very simple. Now, how do these come in different ways? I talked about this in a uh, different presentation, but I'm just going to review it, basically. The amount of mass in one section will create the length of the string. If there's just a small amount of mass here, you're going to get a short string. If you have a more amount of mass, you're going to get a longer string. And if you have a lot of mass, you're going to get a huge string. All right? 
So in the Earth, we have sections of the Earth that have lots and lots of mass all clumped together. That is going to create a very long gravity stream. The Sun has certain areas of mass that are just clumped together, large clumps. Its gravity stream extends out for miles, millions of miles. So that's basically how that works. So to review, velocity is simply the number of gravity strings intertwined. More gravity strings, faster speed. Acceleration occurs because there's a different length. Objects encounter the longest one first, progressively, progressively inward. And so what's going to happen is the particles going to come in and they're going to just smash them together as they get closer. 